Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am super excited because we can finally install SteamOS 3.0 on different devices. Be it a handheld like we have here, this is the Aya Neo Next. You can install it on a mini PC, a desktop, or a laptop, but you will need an AMD GPU with Vulkan and VDPAU support. So this is an official from Valve. Valve hasn't released anything but a Steam Deck recovery image when it comes to SteamOS 3.0 or up to 3.2 right now as I'm making the video. But some really talented developers over on GitHub got a hold of that Steam Deck image and have created kind of an ISO that'll allow you to install it on basically any system with an AMD GPU. This is known as Hollow ISO. The code and packages are straight from Valve with zero possible edits, and the ISO is being built with the official Steam Deck recovery image. And this is running in QEMU on this device here, or any other device you install it on. We do have a full Linux desktop here based on Arch, and all in all, we might as well be running that Steam Deck recovery image on this device. So this is known as the Aya Neo Next. We've got a Ryzen 7 5800U, 8 cores, 16 threads, 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4X, and the Radeon Vega 8 GPU. If you're not familiar with these devices, I'll leave the full specs in the description. And initially, I was going to do a full install tutorial on Holo ISO, but the updates on this are coming out rapid fire and everything's changing constantly with this, so I'm going to wait a few days till it dies down a bit, then I'll do a full tutorial. But if you want to install it, there is a tutorial over on their GitHub, and by the end of this video, we'll kind of breeze through that. But uh, as you can see, we've got the Steam Deck overlay right here. And I'm using that 5800U. Unfortunately, this TDP slider isn't working with the 5800U. Not sure if it works with any other devices. And the GPU slider isn't working with the built-in Radeon Vega 8 graphics. So it's going to be set at what I have it set at in the BIOS. But we do have system-wide FSR. We also have the Mango HUD overlay, which can be adjusted from the settings here. And we can lock the FPS at 15, 30, 60, or unlock just like we can on the Steam Deck. Seems like everything's working really well on the Aya Neo Next, uh, aside from some little readings that are coming out a little funky, but we've got that brightness slider, we can turn it to night mode. One thing I'd like to see in a future release is kind of a hotkey button so we can bring this menu up in-game. Right now I don't have an extra button set up, but if we head over here to our general section, we can check for updates from the Steam Deck UI here, and just want to show you that we are on a 5800U. This is not Steam Deck UI running in Windows on this device. Basically, SteamOS 3.0 for all kinds of devices. And like I mentioned, this is going to get better. Hopefully, we get a TDP slider that allows to go over 15 for devices like this. Because, you know, when it comes to the 5800U with those 8 cores and 16 threads, it does need a little more wattage. But while I'm here, I figured I'd go ahead and show you a few games running. We're going to start out with Cyberpunk 2077. I'm not going to turn FSR on. When we get over to Elden Ring, I'll show you that that does work with this unit here. It's actually pretty cool that it works on a device other than the Steam Deck. And I personally can't wait to install this on a desktop PC where we can modify the BIOS and get some higher TDPs out of a nice desktop APU and see what happens with this operating system. I will have a video like that coming up soon, so keep an eye on the channel. But let's jump right into some Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay on this unit. So we've got Mango HUD running over in the left hand side here, and it shows that my GPU wattage is up there at 65. This is not running at 65 watts, but the APU is running higher than the Steam Deck's APU. If we take a look at total system power consumption down near the bottom, we're at around 34 to 35 watts, and that's how it goes with these non-custom mobile APUs. In order to get the maximum performance out of that GPU and all 8 cores, definitely needs more than 15 watts like the Steam Deck runs at. Next up, we've got Elden Ring, and I do have FSR turned on. If you take a look at Mango HUD, you can see I also have Sharpness turned to 5. This was just the setting I was messing around with. I figured I'd go ahead and film it. Not bad at all, but I do notice, you know, power consumption should be a bit more out of this APU while playing this game. So I'm wondering what kind of CPU governor setting it's using right now. I know I can get a little more out of this game here with a little more wattage, but it just doesn't seem to pull it all the way. And that's actually one of the reasons I have it plugged in right now. I wanted to see if that would make a difference. You know, on battery or on wall power doesn't seem to make a difference whatsoever, at least at the time of making this video. And the last one here, Beam NG Drive. So this is really fun on a handheld, and it does work really well on the Steam Deck. We seem to be getting 60 FPS here with the same settings, and it's definitely playable like this. So 
So like I mentioned, this is known as Hollow ISO. I will leave a link to the GitHub in the description. Uh, you can go ahead and install it now if you want to. There's tons of information over here, but I would personally wait a couple days as of this video releasing because the development on this operating system is full steam ahead. Common questions, is it official? No, but it might as well be 99% of the way there. The code and the packages are straight from Valve with zero possible edits. Working stuff, boot up, SteamOS, OOBE, Deck UI, TDP, and FPS limiting. So for the 5800U, or at least my system right now, I can't get the TDP setting working. FPS limiting is working. Global FSR, which is really awesome. Shader pre-caching. Got a full desktop operating system. Known issues. So NVIDIA GPUs are not supported, at least at the time of making this video. Intel GPUs require a game scope and mess a downgrade in order to boot into the Steam Deck sessions. So uh, I guess Intel GPUs are working, but I gotta say if this is received well, I think we'll get Nvidia support and Intel support, you know, straight out of the box sooner than later. Uh, there's a couple different installation types. You can go bare bones, game only, Deck Experience, this is the full SteamOS 3 experience, which is the one I installed on the iNeo Next. Shows you how to install it, got some screenshots, but yeah, I mean, this is really awesome and I can't wait to test it on other devices. I've got all kinds of Ryzen laptops laying around I want to test this on and just a dedicated little build with something like the 5600X and one of my favorite low-powered AMD GPUs right now, the RX 6400. Not a super powerful card, but I think it would do pretty well with this operating system paired up with a decent CPU. To get to the release section, you can head right over here in releases. And yeah, so here, this is one of the reasons I say just wait a couple days. This is a re-release of the update that was revoked two hours ago due to some installer mistakes. So this is definitely going full speed ahead and it's really only going to get better. And yeah, they even have preliminary NVIDIA support with this release. Like I said, it's going to come sooner than later. So yeah, if you've been wanting to run SteamOS 3.0 like the Steam Deck does on a different device, then this could definitely work out for you. Hollow ISO has turned out to be really awesome so far, but these are just the initial releases. If you're interested in learning more, I will leave a link to the GitHub page in the description. And if there's any other devices you want to see this running on, let me know what it is in the comments below. And I wouldn't be opposed to doing a custom desktop build specifically for Hollow ISO. So if you got any suggestions, let me know what it is in the comments below. Personally, I've been thinking of something like that 5600X paired up with the RX 6400, but I mean, we could go higher. I'd like to keep the price on it low. I can do a full high-end build if you really want to, but you know, keeping it low for the SteamOS operating system would kind of be the way to go. Just building something that can handle 1080p gaming with hollow ISO. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you got any questions, you know where to leave them. And like always, thanks for watching.